I think I've said from day one that this was all about a combination of motives that came to a highlight uh, in relation to senior people in the criminal world of Canningtown, Essex, you know, London as a whole, other parts of the country had had enough. William Jasper. Right, why could we find William Jasper? Well, William Jasper has been locked away in prison for just as long as Jack Williams. You know where he is? Yeah, David has spoken to him uh, and by that time, uh, really should be cops to it by a few and you know, get on with a reinvestigation. <laughs> but Essex Place, why on earth did you not do the basics in relation to his account, which I think you'll find is going to be coming out on social media soon, exactly what he said and what he wrote. Coming soon, I, I think you'll find, is his total confession. To find out how a man died, you've got to find out how they lived. The first sighting uh, is at the Orsic Court, and we, David McKelvey in particular, has spoken to Anton Johnson. They were in his pub on the 6th of December, just as it was getting dark. Officers did attend, spoke to the landlady, the landlord wasn't present, they never went back. So my concern there is why was there no follow-ups to the sighting in the Orsic Court? And that was in the evening, no specific time. Listen carefully to this one. Not one, not two, but three men on their way to work at the Rettington Turnpike, gone 11 o'clock on the 6th, when there was an altercation with a Range Rover. That evidence went to the CCRC, and we know, because it's been shared on social media already, that they said it was possible. He's, his evidence has never been tested by people in authority. So there's a concern around Nichols' evidence and the cell site. Just a couple of the points that, that are a concern to me. And I'm not quite sure if the jury totally understood quite clear that what Nichols said just doesn't stack up. The account that Nichols gave was not the truth. And I'm sitting here now on the 29th of April 2023 and saying to you members and the public, I've got the same vibes.